today I want to share with you one of my favorite Google tips, something that has made my life so much easier. And this has to do with managing multiple Google accounts. And a lot of you, like me, have a Google Apps for Education account and you have a personal account and you might have several more than that as well. I know I do. And it can become cumbersome trying to log in and log out and, and trying to manage all of those different accounts. So I want to show you a major, major tip today. First of all, you need to be using Google Chrome as your browser. And I will say it again, stop using Internet Explorer if you're on a PC. Forget that it exists and um, make sure that you are using Google Chrome. Go figure, Google works best with Google. So using Google Chrome is going to work so much better when you are using Google Apps. Now, it's important to note that what I'm about to show you only works in the browser in the desktop version for a, a laptop or a desktop. It does not work in Chromebooks. So, um, this, however, will, I think, help majority of the users. It's something that I come across a lot that people just don't know about. It's actually sort of become a pet peeve of mine. So, in terms of having multiple accounts, for instance, here I am in my Google Drive. A lot of times I see people over here in the top right managing multiple accounts this way. So I could add another account here and sign in or if I wanted to toggle to this one I click on this one it's going to open another version of Drive. So I've got tab management going on. I've got my Google Apps for Education in one tab and I've got my personal Drive in another tab. This works good for a few moments I'm sure most of you who have been managing it this way have run into a few issues, and if you haven't, you will. So, for instance, sometimes when you click on a link, it doesn't know which account that you are referring to. Sometimes it takes a few extra steps. Sometimes you have to sign out and sign back in. It is cumbersome. It is not user-friendly. So, I'm here to tell you that this up here is the bad way. Stop doing this. Forget about this. And the first step to recovery for you is to actually sign out of all of the other accounts but your your first and primary account. So whichever account you use the most, for me it's my personal account, it might be your school account for you. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click on sign out And this page right here tends to confuse people a little bit. This is really important, especially if you've signed into your account on someone else's computer or a public machine. You also want to know how to do this. So you're going to click remove and you're going to X out of all but that primary account that we were talking about earlier. So for me, it's going to be this first one. I'm going to keep this one up at the top. That's okay but I want to forget this second account. So I'm going to X out. I'm going to click Done. Now I need to select this account again and re-sign in. And so now I've just been taken to my Google account settings for my personal account. So now when I come to the top right, I only see one account. Okay, so, so make, make that nice and clean before we move on to the next step. The next step is setting up Google Profiles in Chrome. And to do that, first of all, you want to make sure that you are signed into Google Chrome. So you're going to go to the top right, the menu, the hot dogs, and you're going to click on Settings. Up at the very top, you're going to see if you are signed in or not. If not, go ahead and sign in with that first and primary account and go ahead and link your data. Now, once you're signed in, you should see somewhere near the top right, it might be in a slightly different location, um, depending on your computer, your operating system, and what version of that operating system you're running. So, um, mine appears in the top right. Yours might be slightly different. I am on a Mac running Yosemite. So, right now you can see personal. And when I click on that personal up there, that shows me the account that I am logged into. 
I have named it personal just so that I can remember and I can toggle back and forth. But to add that second account that we want to toggle to, we're going to click on Switch Person. And you can see I already have several other accounts that I use here. I'm going to click on Add Person. And when I do that, I'm going to get a brand new Chrome window that's going to prompt me to log in again into Chrome. So this time, I'm going to log in with my Google Apps for Education account. And it's going to ask me, do I want to link the data? Yes, you want to link the data. So this way, your Chrome will be synced across wherever you log in, your, your desktop, your laptop, your devices. Every Chrome profile will be slightly different. So I'm going to click OK that I got it. It's just sort of showing me up here that I've got a new profile. Now I'm going to bring this window down so you can see behind it is the personal account. It has, and all of my extensions are loading right now, so the um, themes are different, the extensions are different, the apps are different for each Chrome profile that you set up, which is great because that means that you can sync your extensions that you use for work with your work account and the extensions you use personally with your personal account. So these are two different browser windows running two different accounts. So if I went to Drive now in this new window it's going to be logged into my Google Apps for Education account whereas the other one is going to be let me refresh it because I logged out my personal account. And so now no matter where I go in this particular browser window, whatever Google app I'm using, it's going to be using that account. And to toggle, I just click up here and click switch person, and I can switch back to that Google apps account. So this is the right way. It does take a little bit of extra time to set this up, but please, please, please stop switching right here. You're going to run into issues, and I want to save you some time. This is actually a great way to manage multiple accounts in Google Chrome.